yes and yes, it's finally here. I've been waiting for this. I ordered it so long ago. The RF 24 millimeter. Let's open this thing up. I, I, I've been waiting for this for so long. I remember when I got my mirrorless R series and I started buying lens, I said, if they made an RF 24 in a prime, I would, that would be my go to lens. I love 24 millimeter. I mean, to give you an idea, I have the 1535, which is what I'm shooting on now. Big, heavy, an incredible lens. I have the 35 millimeter I have, which is STM. I have the 16, I have the 50. I have all the primes. 35 though is a little too zoomed in for me. 16 is a little too wide. 24 is perfect, perfect. So let's open this thing up. There it is. 24 millimeter. It's dope. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Here's a 35 to give you a comparison. They're almost I they're almost identical in height. Literally. It's pretty much the exact It's identical. Crazy. 24 millimeter. It's got a built-in stabilizer on it, which is rad. You got the manual focus switch, which I actually use all the time. You got the uh, ring on the front, the control ring, so you can use that to manipulate different settings. This is the lens I've been waiting for. Now, this video isn't gonna be a super detailed spec video showing different uh, color banding and things like that. I just wanna take this thing out, take some pictures, get some B-roll, some nice video, and see what it can do. So let's do this thing. And that's it. That's the 24 millimeter. Hopefully this video was helpful. You got any questions? Leave them in the comments below. Hit me with the like or sub for the algorithm. Stay tuned for more filmmaking videos coming out soon. We out.